Welcome. I'm going to show you a simple workflow to get 360 panoramas from Lumion into RSVR scope app. Let's start by activating the panorama tool on the bottom right and check out what we have. It's not that exciting, but we can easily convert Lumion photos into panoramas. So I'm going to click on one to activate the view and then switch back to my panoramas. I can click store panorama to save that. Now it looks slightly different because we need to copy the effects over from the photo. So let's go back to photos and then click on the top left context menu and we can go to edit copy effects to copy this effect stack. Now back in our panorama menu, we can click edit again and this time paste effects to paste the effects over. Great. Let's go back to photos and double check it one more time. And now we're just about ready to render. So we can either render these sequentially by selecting render all to the bottom right, or we can pick the one we want and select render 360 panorama. Make sure that stereoscopic is set to on and the target device is set to gear VR Oculus. You can toggle the quality level, but just note that the higher the quality, the longer it's going to take. In this case, I'm just going to do a draft quality output. After naming my file, I can just click save to start the render. You can see that this segment is sped up, but it takes about 10 minutes total for a draft quality render. You can bump the quality up to three stars and it'll take about an hour. So please budget your time accordingly. In most cases, it is unnecessary to go beyond three stars. Once it's done, we can click open folder to view the file location and double click on it. Looks great. Let's open up a web browser and go to irisvr.com. Now make sure you're logged in and then you can click your username at the top right and select scope library. I'm going to add a new pano set and then call this Farnsworth House. To upload my new panorama, I can simply drag and drop it into the window. It'll take just a few seconds for the file to process, and then it should be ready for viewing. You can actually get a preview from your desktop by simply clicking on the thumbnail once it is available. In this preview, the image will rotate automatically, but you're able to rotate around the image freely by simply clicking and dragging your left mouse button. The next step is to download this image onto your mobile device and view it with the Scope app. Scope is available in both Apple's App Store as well as the Google Play Store. On your mobile device, let's open up the Scope app and log in. I can slide over to the pano set I created earlier and then tap on the panorama once to download it and then tap on it again to activate it. Finally, I can insert my mobile device into a compatible headset such as a cardboard viewer or Gear VR. Please visit irisvr.com to access a 45-day free trial of Scope. Thank you for watching.